Lethal Weapon 3. Hiya, Hubie. Hey, we're looking for a friend of yours named Travis. Yeah. Well, I never heard of him. Never heard of him. Wrong answer, wrong answer. Wait, right. wait, I'll leave my car here and I'll come with you. No, you're not oh, coming no, with us. No, yes, no. I am. All right, I'll take my car then. No, you're yes, not. Yes, I am. I can't believe you did that. I got a scare in the trunk. I'll fix you. They're my partners. I can't believe they did that. Ah! You have to three main silent. Three, please. I want you to see something, right? She has a gift. Watch this. Are you okay, honey? I'm just oh. afraid. Oh. Hey, at least it's five of them, man. Yeah, I know. My girl. I never made it with another sergeant before. Mm. Hello, car 54, where are you? The only thing they do contribute is mayhem and chaos. No, I'm chaos and he's mayhem. You have the right to remain unconscious. Anything you say ain't gonna be much. Back to bed. Back to bed. How could you? I'm a woman. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. I had a big deal come up. Burn, baby, burn! It's okay, I had to go home and uh, feed my cat. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> we need to talk. You see, you and I have something in common. To destroy Batman, we must first turn him into what he hates the most. Namely, us. You mean Flamer? Maybe this isn't a good time to mention this, but my license has expired! future oh yeah well i was the dopest brother on the block cell block nine that, that was before, before i met you <laughs> man all we did was a little switch a little hip-hop flip-flop principal kratz there's been a terrible mistake on you Ow! Ow! what do you want from me you be you for me you ace all my classes a semester and i'll let you live since i'm doing something for you you gotta help me pass phys ed no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This movie's got everything. Comedy. Give me some ducats, some loops, some cash, some dough, some cash, some green. Are you crazy? Of course I'm crazy! And hotties. Let's make bacon. It's got action and suspense. <laughs> and skins. I thought you were going to play with my frog. Your frog ain't jumping in my direction. There's a new tap pole in town. And it's got music and dancing. And, and, and it, it's got babes. Well, finally something we both agree upon. 50% of it is attitude and style. 
you're gonna be Blade Brown, you gotta know where Blade Brown comes from. Thought you crawled out from under a rock. Yo, I taught you how to be fly. You never taught me how to fly. Ah! In a time when the leaders of the church were as powerful as gods, you are presuming to defy the judgment of the Holy Father. He seduced a queen. You have a way with women, and as God has given me my dream, I intend to give you yours. And commanded a crew of murderers and thieves. How does a part of conflict get the rest of his money? On the most dangerous journey ever undertaken. I suspect that he will never return. <laughs> Conspiracy. The betrayal. Mutiny is punishable by death. Lies the breathtaking spectacle of the discovery. Sorry to disturb you at this hour, but I have something you want. A new TV? It broadcast programs no one had ever seen. Wednesday at 9, don't miss an all-new episode of The Silencer of the Lambs. Then one night, Roy and Helen Nabel got sucked in and discovered that hell <laughs> is one TV show after another. Let's welcome our new contestants, Roy and Helen Nabel. And they're starring in every show. I've watched enough wrestling to know one thing. It's all fake. No one ever gets it. Not fake. Not fake. So the object... The object, Mr. Pierce, is to kill them before they reach the end. Oh, my God. We're cartoons. I am not a mouse. I'm Helen Nabel. I have two beautiful children. Mom? Our parents are trapped in television. Now, they can't go home. They can only switch channels. Where did he go? Hey, lady, watch out! And every series is a nightmare. That's entertainment. Because Satan is the sponsor. Okay, everybody, head spins. Very good, very nice. Well, time to rock and roll. Star me up. You got to star me up. Don't miss this comedy from hell. Please! It's party time! It's excellent! That'll save her. Not Where have you been? not make me a monster. Don't embarrass yourself, Max. I know all about you. What you hide, I discover. What you put in your toilet, I place on my mantle. Get the picture. What is that supposed to hypnotize me? No. Just give you a splitting headache. You know, Duncan, you could take two, maybe three inches off the top there. Dad, but we've been through this before. I'm just expressing myself aerodynamically. Well, did you meet anyone at school today that's up to your social level, your intellectual abilities? <laughs> no, Ashley, I, I didn't. Duncan, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, dear. Uh, I'll get it. Ridiculous. 
Damn, what took you so long? Can't you hear? Oh, my. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Duncan. Blade! <laughs> what a surprise. Nice crib. Uh, 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 Mom, Dad, uh, this is my friend Blade. Blade? That's your name? Dad, is that yours? Uh, 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 Blade came by to get some help with his homework. Oh, really? What seems to be the problem? You got a problem? <laughs> This is Senor Colon. When I heard of your victory, your highnesses, I was moved to thoughts of the glory of Spain. Which, of course, prompted you to thoughts of your dubious quest. <laughs> of course, your highness. Father Torquemada and I have uh, discussed the new evidences you have found from the Old Testament, that our world is largely land. And therefore, the ocean sea cannot be as great as our scholars presume. These are from the Apocrypha. Doubtful sources, but not to be ignored. We might reconvene the commission. Break clear the court. Clear the court! Father, would you leave us, please? Let's go away like we used to, to the mountains. Okay. Just the two of us. Great. No phones, no kids, no TV. No TV? They don't have TV there. Is there a plug? This is abnormal. Honey, you, you're just shutting yourself off from everything and everybody. Are you having problems? Is it me? Yes! No. Is it work? Are you having trouble at work? Work? Of course not. What makes you say something like that? Shoot, you idiot, shoot! The guy's just... The one thing we always promised each other is that we would remain honest. Honey, we are honest with each other. Look, you say that I'm shut off, that, 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 that I, I, I can't open up to you, that I'm closed down. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you something that, that's very important to me, and I'm going to be completely honest. I just, I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Oh, Roy, talk to me. I can take anything. We're in double overtime here.
Captain! Captain! Quiet! It's a cloud! It's just a cloud. It's breaking up! And just to show you how effective our passive restraint system really is, watch this demonstration at 110 miles an hour, where our driver dummy has the benefit of both a seatbelt and an airbag, while the other dummy has neither one. Neither one? I've watched enough wrestling to know one thing. It's all fake. No one ever gets it. It is a blow to the kidney. Boy! Not fake. It's not fake. Welcome to Northern Overexposure, the story of a young doctor from New York who comes to Alaska, complains about everything, and freezes to death. <laughs> You think that's a joke? Come here. 
What's the matter, man? Something tells me you're Blade Brown. Where you going? You stick right here. Look, I'm not having a great day. First somebody wants to beat me up for being you, then you want to beat me up for not being you, then you want me to be you. What do you want from me? No, don't be me. You be you for me. You ace all my classes a semester, and I'll let you live. You don't, and you die. Beware the Genoese and shun the devil. Daryl! Your pizza topping! Wait! Mom and Dad are here. They're home? Well, not exactly. Look. That's dad. That is not dad. Mom? That looks like mom. It is mom. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Our parents are trapped in television. Oh, wow. Obviously, we're dealing with something of supernatural nature here, Diane. I mean, this thing, it did not come from Radio Shack. Yeah, so you're the smart one. Think of something. Okay, um, what goes into the dish and winds up on TV? My bike? Our parents? Follow me. Hey, not my stereo. I need the parts. Now go downstairs and watch them. We can't lose track of them. And I ain't gonna let it be ruined by no punk like you. All right, all right. What's so special about being you anyway? First of all, you gotta dress right. Style is more than just a state of mind, my brother. So I brought you some gear to wear. Here. Oh, yeah. Yes, you too can be a Soul Train dancer. What are you talking about, man? This gear's hype, man. Not like that Kmart stuff you be wearing. Kmart? This is not Kmart. This is JC's Penny's top of the line, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Don't start illing. Now. For starters, let's get rid of these. Ah, here, take. 
take this. That's not hygienic. I'll give you hygienic. Take it. Oh, yeah. Fits like a charm. There's one more thing we got to take care of. What's that? That. You have a way with women, Cologne. I'm from Genoa, your ladyship. I believe you will find the Indies. And as God has given me my dream, I intend to give you yours. I know it will be a strength to me. In the many times I will need strength. I too have had only my pride and my faith in God to light my way. God go with you, Don Cristobal Colón. Underworld, Dwayne's Underworld. It's party time! It's excellent! <laughs> Welcome to Dwayne's Underworld, oh father of lies. I'm your excrement host, Dwayne. And with me, as always, is my only slightly decaying co host, Gar. Whifto! Whifto! Party eternally, Gar. Party eternally, Dwayne. Okay, all right. Now, today we have a special guest for you a man who can't even sell plumbing supplies. Shaw, huh? like no one uses a toilet, right? <laughs> Mr. Roy Nabel. Salutations, oh mighty failure. Okay, now, Mr. Nabel, before we get started, would you mind telling me what you see on this card? I worship. Satin? <laughs> Excrement! Yeah. All right. Now, I understand you're here searching for your lovely wife, Helen. Oh, yeah. Who I truly believe you will find because good always conquers over evil. Not! Not. <laughs> oh, oh, you creeps! Uh-oh. Extreme close-up on Mr. Naval. Looks like you're ready to deliver your soul. I think you get some sense off. 